Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be starting this new sub series where I'm only gonna be playing $1 sit and goes. I want to be able to win like a hundred $1 sit and goes before I continue on and playing like the $5 sit and goes and tournaments and cash games. I just really wanna be able to figure out my strategy for playing poker. And I'm also gonna be watching more poker videos trying to understand when to raise because I have received a lot of comments from you guys saying, hey, you probably shouldn't have done this here, you shouldn't have done it there. And rather than risking more money on $5 tables when I'm not 100% certain where I should be raising, how much I should be raising, I figured I could just play a bunch of $1 sit and goes just to get better. Let's get started. So first place wins $3.55, second place wins $1.91. So as long as I even get second place, I could just continue on without losing any money. But if I win a hundred of these, I'd make a decent amount of money, assuming I'm not losing more than I'm winning. So let's get started. And I'm also gonna be taking time to actually think about what I'm doing a little bit more and figure out why I'm raising, why I'm checking and everything like that. All right, so eight and three, I have the chance to just call it for just 20. And right now, since we're just starting, I might as well see what the flop is. I'm not sure if you guys agree or disagree with this play, but we'll see how it works out. Just because the big blind is so tiny, I figured might as well go for it to see if I could get anything and it did not pay off for me. As soon as anyone raises, I'll be out, but it's good to actually play a couple of these hands uh, just to make sure they're not under the impression that, okay, I'm only playing when I actually have something. So at this point, I have a straight, but chances are other people could have a straight as well or the flush. So I'm just going to do a light bet at this point just to see if anyone will push. I'll bet the pot just to see how they react. What is this guy going to do? Okay, he folds as well. All right, so I was actually able to gain the lead here just because... All of that did end up being something for me and I don't feel comfortable playing this hand just because it's not a very good hand in addition to me being the first person to decide what is going to happen so I'm going to fold okay so that was a good call it would not have paid off for me and these people are raising so I would have been out anyways and there's trip aces out here all right a four and a six even though my big blind is already out I'll check assuming oh this guy raised so I will fold just due to the fact that my best hand I could get from this is a pair, which is very low, two pairs, or a potential straight, which is relatively low. Okay, at this point, I could potentially chase the flush. I already have half of the blind in, and all I have to do is call 10, and I'm willing to do if no one else raises, just to see if I can get the flush off the flop. And let's go for it, see why not. All right, so immediately I have a pair of jacks. So I'm just gonna do a light bet, see if I can get this person out. If he bets, that also works out because I have the highest potential pair at the moment. This person bets 100. So my guess is they... C I don't feel confident enough just going by with just a pair of jacks. So in this situation, I will fold. Again, that could be a bad play, but I wasn't really losing a lot in that pot. So not a lot of value lost for me. This person's raising, I have jack nines, not gonna play this. Okay, so jack and an ace, I'll totally play this just to see what I could get off the flop. Assuming no one does some outrageous raises, and even then I'll still play a little bit. Okay, nothing off of the flop. Highest potential pair would be the pair of kings at the moment. And looks like a potential flush starting for the spades. All right, he bet 20. So at this point, I'm still willing to bet just to see what I can get off of the next card here. Unless someone does something crazy and wild and bets a large amount, then I'll be out. Again, I could be making mistakes. Let me know if I'm doing this properly. But again, everyone plays a little bit different. Everyone has their own range of what they're willing to work with. But since it's only 20, why not? 
and I'm currently third place out of six, so not doing horrible at the moment. And have to experiment a little bit just to see if we get this pot of probably about going to be 200 here after this guy checks or folds, whatever he's going to do. All right, so I have a chance for a potential flush, high flush, assuming that I could actually get my ace here. So do I want to play against that at this point since it's still early on? I'm willing to take the chance and get the ace high with the flush, so I'll call. And I'm just hoping that this person doesn't bet as well because that'd be pretty wild. Okay. All right, so that did not pay off for me. So that was a huge mistake. However, I'm still not losing that much value in this um, just because I'm only down, what, like 150 in chips from my starting point. So I'm going to fold. And this person had the flush like we thought. Um, but I was holding out for another spade. Okay, so I could chase the flush here. This person immediately raised which leads me to believe they have something, but I'm not really comfortable chasing the flush with just the jack and a two, because even if I get a pair of jacks, that's something that I wouldn't really continue on with. Jack and a six, since I'm already in, might as well check to see what comes off the flop. Pair of jacks and a pair of sixes, so I have a two pair at this point. This person's betting, um, so I'm just gonna let him think that he has the best hand, and I'm just gonna call. All right, that person called as well. So at this point, there still is the potential that someone else could have higher two pairs than me. And again, this guy, again, he could have something really awesome, but I'm just gonna call it for now. And here we go. I was rewarded with a full house and we'll see what this guy does. All right, he does that. So let's see if we could make him think that I'm faking, faking him out here. Let's see, let's raise that to see if we get anything from him oh he called and we got it all right so that worked out for us wow that was amazing all right queen and a two let's see here i, I wonder if i could have gotten him with the all-in but i didn't want to risk that so i figured might as well get some chips off of him rather than getting too greedy this guy's going with the all-in at this point because he is angry i am out not going to be going 500 risk with a queen and a two. This person, he looks like he's going to get the flush. All right. He made his money back. Good for him. A two and a nine. This is an easy fold for me. Some people have a wide range of what they're willing to play with. For me, I just know this is trash. Okay, so potential flush here with the ace and the 10. So we're definitely going to be playing this regardless of what happens. We'll just call just to play a little bit light. See what happens. All right, we're going to take note to see how these guys bet. Okay, so nothing really. I mean, here's a chance for a flush, but still nothing great. So we're just going to check, assuming it comes to us. And this person, since they're last, they might bet just to scare everyone off. Oh, they didn't. Okay. So absolutely no chance of the flush here. The best thing I could do at this point is a pair of aces with the 10 kicker. So we're just going to check. And at this point, I have a straight. So it's very easy that anyone could have a straight since, you know, a lot of people could just have the 10. But we're going to bet. We're just going to go for it and see what happens. All right. I'm just going to bet. Let's make it 100 because that sounds like a reasonable amount that people will still stay in with if they even have a pair. So 100. Well, as we start picking away at their chips. Okay, none of them stayed in. So easy money there. I wish I would have continued just to bet a little bit. But at the same time, I would have just lost value over time. Looks like we're already placed in here, so obviously we'll check to see. No, we can't check to see, I guess. Hmm. I'm just gonna fold because this guy has a really small stack of chips, and if he's just willing to bet on that, I'm just gonna let him have it. Which was a mistake. I would have had a pair of kings, but someone could also have the pair of aces. And I would have had a two pair at this point, so I should have really stayed in there, but live and you learn. See, at this point, this guy's going all in. I'm not sure if I would have just kept going all in because he might have pocket pairs. 
in which is, in which case he would have Ooh, this guy is going all in up here. All right. So trying to bring this guy. I definitely would not have played this if I just had the two pair. Let's see. Oh, he does. He has three aces. All right. So, and this guy has three sevens. So I would have lost that. So I'm really glad I didn't stay in there. Actually, two and a six. I have no business being in this hand here. All right. Queen and a three. Chance for a flush. So we'll play it. Okay, so queen, let's see here. Still a chance for a flush, but not as a good chance. Yeah, at this point, just a pair of twos, so not much going on here. The best I could do at the end of the day is a pair of queens. All right, so we're going to be out of this one. All right, again, potential flush with the king high, so we're going to play it. All right, since we already have 100 in, why not just call it just to see what happens? And again, we're not going to get anywhere close to the flush. Even the straight potential is ruined there, so we're going to be out of this one. And I feel like you just have to see if you can get the flush. I feel like that's a very logical play, so I don't regret either of those two hands. I just did not end up getting lucky. Queen to 10, potential chance for a high straight. So we'll play it. Okay, could be me up against this guy. And okay, I thought he was going to go all in there for a second. All right, we'll check. Okay, let's see if he does anything wild here. I'm going to bet 100 just to see if I could get him off since I do have the pair of jacks. All right, he does fold immediately after that, so... Seven and a three, not the ideal hand that you want to start with. Okay, so this guy's betting. I'm not going to call on that just because I'm not setting myself up for really anything other than a pair of sevens. And this guy just went all in, so. All right. Pair of sevens is winning it at the moment. Okay. Oh, and he has the flush with the ace high. Wow, that is unfortunate. All right, I'm already halfway committed at this point. I'm debating, just checking, um, not checking, calling, just to get in there, just to see what we can do with an eight and a queen. Okay, they call. Assuming that this person calls as well. They raise so at this point I would be out and of course there would be the two pair the two pairs out there this guy's going all in and I'm not sure if I would have felt comfortable going all in because he could have pocket pairs I'm really curious to see what this guy's gonna do all right so he just only has a pair of eights so I would have beat him this guy had pocket jacks so I would have had uh, just two pairs so that guy, that guy would have won anyways. All right, potential chance for a high straight, so we'll call it. This guy has to go all in at this point, I mean, if he wants to play it. Okay, he does not. What is this guy going to do? All right. So let's see here. Does he have the flush? If he checks, I'll check as well. And there we go. I have my pair of queens, and we'll call. He could potentially have the flush at this point. And we will just check. Okay, split. All right, potential chance for a flush, but these are such low numbers that I'm not going to chase it. All right, pair of kings, pocket kings, good on him. And wow, no way, he just lost with oh, the straight. That is unfortunate. Let's see here. I'll fold just to see how it plays out. Seven and a six, chance for a straight, but I'm not going to play it. Or I wouldn't raise. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to play that. Fold. Potential chance for a flush with a queen high. Assuming no raises happen, I'll play it. 
Okay. Again, not much going on, so we'll check it. Pair of jacks, we'll check again. He's going to bet, and he bought it. He bought it. Okay, four and a king. Do we play it? No. Because ideally I want another person to be beat here before I start really getting aggressive. All right, so chance for a straight here, but do we really want to see? We're first position, so I'm not going to play it. Oh, no one played that. Okay. Five and a seven, that's unfortunate. This guy raised, so we're just going to let him have it. All right, so we're getting pretty low at this point, so we're going to have to start making some riskier plays. Not with a three and a seven, though. At this point, my chips are just dwindling because I haven't been able to make any of these plays. I mean, I guess I could have bluffed a little bit more, but I would like to have a little bit of something to back up the bluffs. This person might be bluffing. All right. Nine to three. So we're just going to let them play. Didn't cost me anything. Again, glad I didn't stick it out for that one. All right, here we go. There's a chance for a high flush, so we're going to play it. It's not paid out for me. Let's see what this guy does. We'll check as well. And he's still checking. I have a feeling that this guy might actually have something. I feel like they're both trying to trap me here. All right, again, I have absolutely nothing other than what's on the board here, so. Chance someone could have the full house. All right, so let's see. Okay, I was actually able to win that. Okay, two and a jack. We already have invested 200, so I feel like we have to play it just to see what we could get. 600 though, 600. No, I'll give it away. Seven to five. All right, we could chase the flush, but again, it's just... I'm already halfway in, might as well, assuming that this guy doesn't go wild here. You raised, yeah, we're not playing that. All right, king and a two. At this point, I don't have anything invested, so I'm not going for it. All right, 9K, all right. So we'll definitely play this regardless of what happens. Don't do it, okay, so we'll check. We have a pair of nines. So I'm just gonna bet a little bit at this point just to get a little bit more aggressive. Let's bet 400. See what this guy decides to do. If he goes all in, then I'll most likely call as well just because I do have the pair of nines, unless he has pocket pairs that I'm unaware about. Okay, he called. He could also have the flush here. So I wanna see if I could fake him out again. Let's go with the 400. Again, we're really just kind of playing off of the fact that we're doing a battle of pairs, but he could have the, okay. So he was afraid that I might have the flush. That means that he most likely did not have it. All right. This is a good hand to fold at this point because this guy feels like he might have something. And we've made our way back to second place. All right, we'll give that one up. Queen to five, I have nothing invested here, so at this point I'm just kind of hoping to take each other out. With that raise, I'll be out.
because they were it was a queen five off suit. So, oh, he's going all in. All right, let's see how this plays out. All right, here we go. He's ten. All right, pair of queens is winning at the moment, and he took it. Good for him. All right. 8-3 when we have no business playing that with the type of hands everyone is keeping at the moment so all right here we go another battle off and this guy again has the pair of oh he's got the ace this time all right so this guy wins his money back all right on suited to eight and three i'll play it assuming everyone checks what are you gonna do he could potentially buy it off of me. He has enough money. Okay. That was generous of him. All right. So I have a pair of eights. Let's see what happens if he sees a bet of 200 from me. He could potentially have a flush. Oh, he doesn't. All right. I mean, it was more of like a 3D chess type of situation because he's like okay maybe he's just trying to fake me out uh, that's that's the type of games you guys have to play the mental games in addition to having good cards which i do not have good cards 4k off suit we're not going to chase it again just hoping that people kind of wreck each other until the big blind small blind is so large that we just have to we're just going to have to play some riskier ones we're not there yet. Not quite there yet. Two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. I would have had a straight there. Let's have the four. I want the pair of aces. Nice. Not going to chase that. Two and a five on suit. All right, here we go. Another person could potentially go out this round. Ooh, potential flush. Two and a nine if people call. All right, so three people left. This is when we're going to have to start making some riskier plays. Let's see here. But not this type of risk because, again, not, I can't really get much out of those two cards. Okay, potential straight. Let's see here. I, I can't. I can't play that. We'll let these two fight it out. See if I get at least second place. I would add nothing, so glad I didn't play that. I'm hoping these two take each other out, or at least bring one closer to me at least. Okay, potential chance for a flush here. This guy's going to bet he has a big enough stack to buy this hand off of me. Oh, he didn't. Nice. How generous. A pair of threes. Let's see here. I can make him think that I have something. Sure. Let's see what he does now. Again. Oh, dang it. What could he have? Jacks. All right, well call it there elite all right five and a seven we'll fold on that one all right blinds going up this is a chance to make our plays all right eight and a seven I have nothing invested in this one, so I'm not going to play it. I'm waiting for my all-in hand here. Okay, really glad I didn't play that. Okay, so I need to get some bullying power back. This could be our chance here. Okay, this is the best hand that I could possibly hope for at this point in time, so we're just going to go all-in. Uh, potential chance for a straight, potential chance for a flush as well. Let's go. All right. Not looking good. Uh, okay, cool. All right, it, it paid off for us with dumb luck there. That's the only reason that we won that, just because it was lucky. 
Like, that is, whew, wow. All right. All right, so he's trying to get us all in here. Uh, I'm not willing to take that risk at this point with a queen, a two. Ah, do I want to play that? No, I don't. I don't. Don't want to play that. Again, now I'm kind of in the money with them, so they're going to have a harder time kicking me off. So I'm really going to be able to pick the hands that I want to play. Because I have enough of a stack. If I go all in, I could really do some damage to these people. Again. Yeah, wow. No, I'm not playing all in with a 9 and a 4 off suit. Okay. Six and a ten. We're right back where to where I don't want to be, which is just giving them these big and small blinds, but okay. All right, this is our chance. We're gonna play it, see what happens, try to maximize the amount of chips I'm gonna be able to get from these people. Okay, they raised at this point, so that's the all-in call for me. This person's all in, so let's go for it. All right. All right, got mm, this person's got the win so far. All right, well, I, I had to at that point, I feel like. So, all right, what did we learn from that? We learned that if you play a little too slow, you could be ending up hurt for late game. So let me know what I did wrong. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.